All right. So probably by now y'all been messing around with this chat GPT thing a bit. We know it's kind of good for some things and not so good for others. But one thing it's really good at is pulling together examples, which is great for teaching. So let's use chat GPT to demonstrate how to write architecture requirements and fitness functions so we can test them. Okay, first I'm gonna tell it that I'm designing software for a regionally distributed banking system hosted in AWS. I want it to give me three examples of functional requirements that describe the behavior of my solution. I'm a fan of the user story template, so I tell it to go with that. And of course, frighteningly so, it spits them out with no effort. Pretty detailed too. As a bank customer, I want to be able to view my account balances and transaction history so that I can keep track of my spending and manage my finances effectively. Pretty good. And it gave me a couple other ones for the bank teller and administrator as well. Next, as an architect, I got to figure out what architecture qualities or characteristics are most important for the software system we're building. And of course, I asked my new friend, hey, give me some of them too. Bing, bang, boom, look at that. Got some scalability to handle all them users and transactions. Security to protect that sensitive data. And I even asked it to throw in adaptability because that's a hard one and I wanted to see how I could handle it. Not bad. Now here's where it gets a little tricky. I want to transform those quality attributes into something tangible, so I ask it to rewrite them as non-functional requirements, specifically non-functional requirements that apply to those functional requirements we turned out earlier. You see, non-functional requirements can be applied to specific end-user behavior or the system as a whole. And there it goes. I like that it's using specific, measurable, testable values. 10,000 concurrent users. Multi-factor authentication. And look at that adaptability requirement. It even calls out a possible axis of change we got to look out for. Changes in regulatory compliance. Very nice. Now, how are we going to test those non-functional requirements? Well, that's where fitness functions come in. Basically, they help us make sure the software architecture stays fit as it evolves over time. You know, with Agile. And that's architecture governance. Now, if we had a little bit more time, I'd try tweaking my prompts a little to squeeze more detail out of this thing. Ensuring the testability of non-functional requirements and figuring out how to test them is an iterative, collaborative process between the architect and the tester. It's full-time work and probably some of the most important. Okay, so at this point, I'm starting to get a little greedy. If we're going to have to run these tests every time there's a change to the system, well, then we're going to need to automate these things whenever we can. And so, of course, I asked Mr. Robot to stub out some of the code to help me do just that. Man, I just love the confidence of this thing. Sure. You'll notice for the part of the code that it's not so sure about, it just drops a bunch of comments. And that's fine for what we're doing here. <laughs> Sometimes it gets a little tired. Gotta nudge it a bit. Go on. The important thing is that we can see that most of the fitness functions aren't very different from the unit tests and integration tests we've already been writing except maybe they got to run in different processes or something, get access to all those metrics. Now to put a little bow on this demonstration, I asked ChatGPT to recommend some tools that we could use to monitor the system and actually run the fitness functions. And for funsies, I, I just tell it we're using AWS. 
And sure enough, looks like ChatGPT is a certified solution architect. Some of these tools look familiar. CloudWatch to monitor performance and resources. We can run security tests as part of our pipeline using code build. And you got a fitness function running in Lambda. We can keep an eye out for changes. Test that adaptability. So yeah, in about five minutes, ChatGPT just did my job. Well, enough to show me that testing my architecture is at least possible. And that's how you prevent architecture drift. That's architecture governance. And of course, before you shut it down, you, you just got to do the poem thing. There once was an architect at Highland whose designs were both clever and grand. He made software soar and the users all roar for the systems he built were so handy and planned.